Scotland's Regeneration Network SURF and its Alliance for Action programme is all about partners. SURF actively promotes the wisdom, types and benefits of collaboration, an approach which the Scottish Government has encouraged in recent decades in advice, legislation and practice. SURF's annual Regeneration Awards requires applicants for all categories to demonstrate the effectiveness of their partnership working. And the success of the Alliance for Action's interactive network absolutely depends upon SURF's ability to make links between national and local partners that have policies and resources to support community regeneration. This short film, part of SURF's record of Alliance for Action work in Glasgow and Kirkcaldy, present some experiences of this approach and some of the challenges involved. For some organisations, collaborative working is the bedrock of their success. We still have a multi-agency steering group. We still rely on um, individual organisations at a local level, the community anchor organisations taking the lead and within that I think Govan Workspace and the local housing associations, Govan Housing Association and the Elder Park Housing Association have been critical and I think increasingly Glasgow Housing Association will have a role to play. Partnership working um, is critical mm -hmm. to, to all it's of it um, and it's something that I, you know it helps us resource wise because it ensures mm -hmm. that we're putting resource where it's best needed um, but it's also helping a range of partners across the community meet their outcomes. And there is general agreement that collaborative working can enable smaller agencies to punch above their weight. We're obviously a small organisation but we can be bigger by the relationships that we cultivate and uh, develop and hopefully uh, tap into others strategies that are similar to our own. For others, partnership support can be the difference between a cycle track dream and a sustainable enterprise. Part of the reason they pulled out was just they just didn't understand what was going on, uh -huh. how much money was available, what they could do with the building, um, adding to that the sort of extra layer of sort of management or governance with a community development trust, looking after that kind of community campus approach. It was just too much for them and there just was a real lack of understanding. Partnerships aren't just about the money, but instead of agencies competing for funding, collaboration and alliances enable some to present as greater than the sum of their parts. To, to us, if it's good work and it does, then it does well for the community, that's a good thing. Um, we're not competing with one another in that sense. Um, and I think that at the moment, a lot of funding frameworks do drive it, people, do drive organisations inadvertently into competing against yeah. one another. But yes. I think you know, if we can find the commonality around what we understand to be good work that does does well by the local community, then then that's an area where we can come together. We have quite a kind of key partnership working with um, two organisations in, in Govan. Um, one of those is Plantation Productions and the other is the Galgale Trust. Um, they're not the only organisations we work with, but I think that's the one that's been most kind of consistent over, over the past few years and over this past year. Um, and one that we're looking to actually build on to form a kind of more uh, formal partnership and, and a way of almost like a standard or benchmark of working in partnership. But sometimes even effective collaboration between big players like the NHS and local authorities doesn't guarantee cash when it's needed. So there's huge scope but unfortunately due to the funding and due to the lack of you know future planning you know, because we can't really plan for something that we just we don't know if it's going to happen. Um, we're, we're really struggling to move the service forward. We can see the big vision of where it could go, but it's very limited with the amount of resources that we have. Of course, real partnerships are about more than just financial investment. And we work strategically together, uh, you know, just as, as Moya said, complementing each other's work and um, you know, taking a joint yeah. approach. Like getting best value, if we're doing a particular programme of work, the integration net, um, network of something happening, Gal Gale something happening, and if they're all quite complementary, if they come under the same theme, um, then it would be worth a little bit of extra work to bring them together and um, it would add value to all of the projects. The Alliance for Action supports community organisations looking for successful collaborative models to strengthen connections with neighbouring groups and seek links with external broader based bodies. 
The Alliance for Action also helps national agencies looking to invest resources within communities. In its role as an independent agency, SURF has added value to partnership activity within the Alliance for Action. SURF initiates and supports coordinated and focused approaches to collaborative, place-based regeneration, and then links this learning to Scottish Government and other partners to improve regeneration policy and practice across Scotland.